Welcome to the 5th anniversary edition of Hoyt High News. The news headlines are The Scottish Government visit Hoyt High School We expand our output to celebrate the five years of Hoyt High News. Hoyt commemorates the 500th anniversary of the Battle of Flodden. We get to know our new first years a little better. First Minister Alex Salmond and the Scottish Government visit Hoyt High School for an open session with the public about issues concerning the borders in Scotland. During the session, he has some interesting things to say about Hoyk High School. Apparently, we're brilliant. Here is a snippet of what he had to say. It's a fantastic pleasure to, to be at Hoyk. Uh, last night at the civic reception in the town hall, I met some of the student and teachers again from, uh, from this school. Uh, and therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it was easy to see, seeing that enthusiasm, why uh, this school celebrated such a fantastic set of examination results just two weeks ago. 93% of pupils gaining at least five standard grades, a pass rate of 75% for hires and 84% for advanced hires. But make no mistake, the excellent, the fantastic results achieved by this school are a credit to the students, to the teachers who put in that work, and that work and excellence should be recognised by everybody when they produce such an excellent performance. which has made a, a huge contribution to the world. I think we've got a huge amount to offer in the future. Uh, I talked at the start of my remarks about uh, the line from your aunt from Hoyt was ever independent. But as you all know, and as all of us have seen over the last two days, Hoyt's independence, its civic pride, has never stopped it from forging links far and wide, working with local authorities in Scotland and England, exporting goods around the world, enjoying ties of family and friendship across these islands and across the globe. The six unions I spoke about today exemplify the notion of independence and interdependence, the ties that we hope to maintain and strengthen, and the things we seek to be independent from. By choosing independence from the political and economic union, eh, we can ensure that the other areas of union, the social union, the union of crowns, the currency union, the defence union, the European union, continue. Independence allows us to embrace and make the most of our interdependence playing a full part on the world stage, working with our fellow nations, but as an equal partner. As a result, that independence would be good for Hoyt, good for the borders, and good for Scotland. Thank you very much. This episode, we celebrate five years of Hoyt High News. Over the past five years, we have been bringing you all the news from Hoyt High School. During this time, we have used iTunes, Blit TV, YouTube, and a number of other services to bring you the news. We've had over 21,000 views on Blit TV and many more on other platforms. This year, we are expanding our social network footprint. We have been using Facebook for some time, but we now broadcast via Twitter as well. Every week on Facebook and Twitter, you can now follow Hoyk High News to find out what is happening in and around the school. The Battle of Flodden took place on the 9th of September 1513 between a Scottish army under King James IV and an English army commanded by the Earl of Surrey. It was the largest battle ever fought between Scotland and England and it was Scotland's most terrible defeat. James IV was killed in the battle, the last British monarch ever to die in the battle. As many as 12,000 Scottish soldiers were killed on this dreadful day, many of them from Hoyke and the other border towns. This year is the 500th anniversary of the battle, and the occasion was marked by a parade through the town. We went along to see what was happening. Because uh, P7 is uh, fun 
because you get to be with your friends in one class and you're never separated or anything. And S1 you get a lot more opportunities like hires and exams and you also get to go, you get more subjects and teachers and you meet new people from different schools. S1. Uh, primary 7. Uh, S1 because all my friends are here but we do get more homework. S1. 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 S1 puts has more variety than P7. I like S1 better because you get a lot more um, you get to meet new people, you get a lot more subjects. S1. Uh, S1. 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 I'd have to say S1 because you get so many more chances to do all sorts of different things. I prefer S1 because of what's opportunity and different subjects. I prefer S1 because it's a bigger school. S1. S1 because there's more subjects. S1. 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 S1 probably. I, I like S1 better than primary school. S1. S1. S1 because there's more different types of classes and if you get more freedom. Which are your favourite subjects? Art because I get to do my creative, do more creative stuff. Art because I think I'm good at being out in the world. Home economics because you just get to cook and you never got to do that in primary school. Probably PE. Home economics because you yeah, get to cook. Faith because my teacher makes it fun. PE because it's fun. Faith because I like the teacher, she's really nice. PE because um, because I like sport. Faith and philosophy because I like the teacher. Maths because Mr Drummond's funny. My favourite subject is art and computing because they're designing things. My favourite subjects are art and English. Oh, I like PE because I'm quite a sporty person and I like maths because I'm quite good at maths. Faith and philosophy because the teacher is amazing. I have to go on for PE because it's a night that I do know. Well, Matt, because I like cooking. Science, because I'd love to be a scientist when I'm older to invent different things and do different experiments. PE, because it's good fun. PE, but I have a lot of being. My favourite subject has got to be science, because I like mixing stuff together. Go Matt, because it's fun. Maths, because I want to grow up to be a marine soldier and I think maths is the best subject to learn how to be coordinated. Art is a big drawing. Mine is IT. Mine is B. Oh Mac, because you do a lot of cooking and uh, it's really tasty and nice. IT. Why? Because um, you get to do a lot of things on the computer that's fun. <laughs> Uh, P. Oh. I like PE because I like doing sports and I like tacky because I like drawing. Probably home economics because you get to cook <laughs> loads of things and you get to take them home and eat them so it's tasty. PE just because I like loads of sports and running around. Science because I want to be a science teacher in the middle. That's all for this episode. Remember to like us on Facebook as Hoi Kai News and follow us at Hoi Kai News on Twitter. That's at Hoi Kai News on Twitter. And remember, be excellent to each other.